Wow, oh my god. Five shots in and I'm already messed up. Spilling these drinks, why did I get dressed up? Okay, then, so in today's video, we're just going to go through some really cool AI slash intelligent websites and plugins as well. Some of them are free, some of them are paid for, some of them have kind of like monthly subscriptions, but we'll get into all of that after a quick word from today's sponsors, DistroKid. So like I said in previous videos, what I love most about DistroKid, how it is always changing and evolving to make their service even better. Just this week, DistroKid have set up a new service called Artists for Change, which allows you to split your profit with a charity of your choice. It's really easy to get it set up as well. You click here to get started, click an organization, and all you need is the email here. Copy the email. Head over to splits, set up a collaborator, say you want to give your charity 10%, stick the charity email in there. And if you are in a position where you are able to split your profits, then what a great thing it is to do is to give to charity, especially during this time of year is an excellent idea. So like I've said numerous times before, not only is DistroKid the best at distributing music to all of the top streaming websites, they're also the best at making their services better and better. If you do want to sign up to DistroKid, feel free to use my 7% discount code. It's in the description below. Now let's get into the AI. Okay, so here we are inside of my MacBook. We are currently on the ecritmusic.com website. Their AI creates royalty-free music for creators. So far, they have made almost 55 million combinations of music created with ai which is absolutely crazy go up here to click create music you can click a scene a mood and a genre um i'm not really sure about a scene because i'm not really doing like a movie or anything i will be going for a sad acoustic maybe i haven't really got like a bpm on here it's kind of like fast or slow so i'll just go straight down the middle um, melody wise we'll go 100 percent with everything see what happens and uh I guess we create music so whilst this is loading i'm guessing this is useful like if you want royalty free like loops i guess you can kind of like click unique ones and get unique ones every single time Not too bad for like a first attempt. It's a bit basic. I want something a bit more melody. Maybe it's a bit too repetitive. This could be really useful for someone that wants a loop, a royalty free loop, like an idea to start with, something that nobody else has. It's kind of like exclusive royalty free loops, really, if the AI spews out a different one every single time. You know what, I actually don't even mind that one. It's very simple again, but it gives you plenty of room to add like counter melodies and things like that. So now I'm gonna try and throw it into my door and see how simple that is. Download it. Ooh. Oh, so it's not actually 4 99 per month. That's if you pay annually. If you pay monthly, month by month, it's actually 7 99 so it does go up a little. Okay, so I've paid a subscription. I've thrown it into my door, simple drag and drop. And even though it's amazing that they can make unique loops just at random whenever you want, um, for $7.99 per month, you'd want the MIDI as well, I reckon. Um, maybe a bit more detail to it as well. What BPM is it? Um, what, what key is it in? And I know there's ways that you can find this out. And if you're really good with music theory, it's not a problem. I'm guessing more beginners are going to use this service. So it would be handy if it came with a MIDI file and what key it's in as well. So next up, we have the Splash Pro, completely free to download. It's like an app. So this is an AI that will help you kickstart your track. It will give you some ideas with melodies and whatnot. So here is the app. 
you can change the BPM. I'll change the BPM. I'm going to change the BPM to 140 to match my door key. Maybe D sharp. Any Oh, there we go. D sharp minor. Okay, so there's genres here. Uh, we'll go for hip hop, compose MIDI. I've got a piano on there, just a piano on there for now. Okay, not bad. It got a bit weird towards the end. Maybe that was something that I did. Oh, you can you can write stuff. That's cool. Um, I get so very down when I'm so low. Get it? So low. They're so low, but they're on their own, which makes them so, so low. I get very down when I'm so low. I get so very down when I'm so low. I get so very down when I'm so low. Let's see if we can find some better chords. I get so very down when I'm so low. She sounds a bit robotic, but I reckon if you manipulate it, I reckon you could make it sound pretty decent. So I think this might be a very good segue into the next one, which is Jarvis Lyrics. And this is basically a lyric generator. It will help you as a songwriter write your lyrics, I guess. We are struggling a little bit on our one. So um, verse, pre-chorus. I would say that's a verse, what we've got so far. When I'm solo, generate lyrics. I let it all out over and over again. I know I'm not alone, but it's lonely, lonely. But I don't need much to feel alive. All I want is to be greater than great and kick you out of my life. Bars. We can use some of this. I get so very down when I'm so low. But I know I'm not alone, no, not alone. It's lonely, lonely, lonely But I don't need much to feel alive To be fair, when I first jumped into it just now, um, I wasn't convinced, but that vocal thing really saved it, in my opinion. Um, it can it spews out some decent melodies, but with the vocals, you can really manipulate them and make them sound good in a track whether it's like an edm build or just maybe like little phrases here and there in your instrumental maybe so yeah very very useful and free as well crazy as for jarvis um i've used it once the lyrics wasn't even that bad to be fair so that gets my little seal of approval whether it's right or wrong we'll talk about that a little bit further into the video Next up is uberduck.ai. This has been doing its round in YouTube videos lately I've seen. It basically has a huge library of phrases from all sorts of celebrities, including rappers as well. And if you put the right combinations together, it can sound awesome. Also, it can sound terrible as well, but it's quite funny. I've got Jay-Z here. Subscribe to Dick Some Beats. You heard the man. Um, a huge favorite is obviously Drake, as he's one of the biggest rappers in the world at the moment five shots in and i'm already messed up spilling these drinks why it did i get dressed up boom can i get a car to take me home no i don't have one because you broke my phone yeah babe now i feel like ish now i feel like ish now i feel like ish whoa I'm just gonna go over my lyrics for now because Jarvis is acting a fool. Five shots in and I'm already messed up. Spilling these drinks, why did I get dressed up? Wow, oh my god. Five shots in and I'm already messed up. Spilling these drinks, why did I get dressed up? Five shots in and I'm already messed up. Spilling these drinks. Yo, to be fair, that is an absolute banger, lo-fi banger. That came out absolutely crazy. Way better than I thought it would. So in my last video, I said to you guys, if you do want to shout out, comment Black Friday, yay, in the comment section below, and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Well, this is that next video, and here are the people that commented.
If you do want a shout out in my next video, all you have to do right now is like this video and comment the robots are taking over in the comment section below. Now let's get back into it. So whilst we have this little loop, I can show you the next AI based plugin that I have. So this is Ozone 9 and you can do things manually as you can see right here. But what I do want to look at specifically is this master assistant. This is where the AI comes into it. It listens to your track and it tries to improve things to make it sound better. So all we have to do is click modern vintage loudness and EQ settings and destination where we're going to pull it afterwards. Um, and then you just have to play the loudest part of your track. So I'm just gonna keep it as it is and um, see if it makes it sound any different. Five shots in and I'm already messed up. Spilling these drinks, why did I get dressed up? Five shots in and I'm already messed up. Spilling these drinks, why did I get dressed up? So it did its thing there, added a bit of EQ, a little bit to the low end, a bit to the high end as well. Dynamic, sort of a little bit of the dynamics out, dynamic EQing right there as well. Five shots in and I'm already messed up Spilling these drinks Maximizer, um, when the kick hits I believe it dips a little bit Kind of like um, side chaining I guess Five shots in and I'm already messed up Spilling these drinks, why did I get dressed up? Not a huge change on this occasion But there has been occasions where I've used it And it's completely made my track sound louder More dynamic But I guess because we're not, there's not a lot going on in this one at the moment Next up is the Fast series by Focusrite. They have the Fast Verb, Fast Equalizer, Fast Compressor. Um, I'm just going to try this on Drake's vocals. Imagine if we get a copyright strike because of Drake. Surely not. Okay, so same as the Ozone one. Simply play it and it will learn it. You can change it here. I'll play it on vocals. Five shots in and I'm already messed up. Spilling these drinks, why did I get dressed up? Five shots in and I'm already messed up. Spilling these drinks, why did I get dressed up? Five shots in and I'm already messed up. Spilling these drinks, why did I get dressed up? Five shots in and I'm already messed up. Spilling these drinks, why did I get dressed up five shots in and I'm already messed up spilling these drinks why did I get dressed up five shots in and I'm already messed up spilling these drinks why did I get dressed up yo I'm gassed with that tune you know I think it sounds so good like like normally when people use that service Drake or anyone sounds a bit mad but them lyrics just go perfectly have I accidentally used like already made Drake lyrics I don't think so Sounds good, sounds really good. But yeah, that was fast plugins. As you can see there, it does its business. Click learn and it learns the sound and then it does what it needs to do. You can change it to be warm, neutral or bright. And if you still don't like it, you can listen to every individual part and tweak it yourself. Next up is Sample Lab. This is another free one. Basically, you can throw any loop into here. It will convert the loop into a MIDI. And not only will you have the MIDI, which is amazing, you can change the MIDI notes and that sound from the loop will also change as well. So not only can you get the MIDI, you can get the sound from the loop as well, which is crazy. Um, I'll show you an example now. We'll go for the same melody that we used for that Drake track. They can only use the first 10 seconds of whatever loop it is, which is fine. The loop is 70 BPM, so hopefully it will clock that. There you go, 70, 140 BPM, same thing. <laughs> So there is the MIDI or parts of the MIDI from what I can see, but the coolest thing is that you have the sounds now as well. Even if you didn't want to use this melody anymore, you can use the sound. See what I'm saying? You can literally take their sound and make new melodies. Like, it's just crazy. Like, Next up we have Scalar and Scalar is a very good VST, there's loads that I like Scalar but I prefer Scalar, I just don't know, I like the interface, um, I like the fact that you can open audio files and the, try and get like chords that sound like that audio file or you can throw other people's midis in here and it will tell you the scale and whatever and then you can create your own unique midi so you don't have to use other people's you can come down to here and you can pick your scale or you can pick like what kind of um genre you want so you got edm here 
so say if I like EDM4, I can drag them down here in any order I want, but I just like this order. Then I can just simply drag it onto the door, open up a VST, pick a sound, play the chords. And it can just be as easy as that, which is crazy. A couple of honorable mentions was this lalal.ai. You can extract any vocal, instrumental, any individual sound like drums, bass, piano from any track, which is absolutely just mad. Also, I came across this one called Audio Cypher. I haven't downloaded it myself, but from what I've seen, it looked very, very cool. It's kind of like the Splash one, but um, yeah, it has its differences, but I haven't got it yet, but that looked pretty cool as well. So is all of this AI slash intelligent VSTs and websites a good thing? My opinion is it is good, but in moderation. If you want to use a website to get an idea for a track, maybe a loop, a WAV loop, that's fine but make sure you add your own counter melodies and really make that track your own add your own flavors your own textures give it a bit of a spin but if you're using this AI to completely do all of the work for you I think you're really really closing yourself creatively these days you can easily let an AI do your drums melodies bass um, vocals now mix master your track and pull it out of there then you don't really have any of your own character on it you had no really creative process rather than just pressing the start button on the ai and that's what i'm worried about in the future i'm worried that music will just be literally one click of a button and the ironic thing is when I started doing music on my laptop, that's what a lot of outsiders thought that we did, just click one button and it would make the whole track. And the funny thing is, it's actually coming true right now. But please, I'd love to know what your opinions are. Put them in the comment section below. Is AI a good thing or a bad thing? Should you completely be doing everything yourself? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you do want more videos on VSTs, there'll be one here and here. And I'm still waiting for a few winners of the 60k giveaway to come forward. So this is the video here where I announced the winner. So just make sure you haven't won. Be safe, be productive, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.